In this video, I will show you how you design one of the key engineering elements of a hydropower scheme. On this slide, I show you a schematic diagram of the main engineering elements. There are different elements and I group them into four stages. When you do design, you start with stage one, which is designing your reservoir. And for this, you need to know your storage requirements. And based on storage requirements, you need to know your dam size as well as dam material. For dam size, you need to know the height and the length of the dam and geometry of the dam. Then for stage number two, you need to design your turbine house. And here you design type of the turbine, how many turbines, and also the size of each turbine. And based on this information, you design size of the turbine house. And stage number three, you design low pressure tunnel and a search tower. And for low pressure tunnel, you need to do calculations for low pressure tunnel size, material, and for search tower, you also need to calculate the sizing of your search tower. The main purpose of a search tower is to observe sudden pressure rises when you close the valve. And final stage is stage four, when you need to calculate high pressure penstokes. And for this, again, you need to know the size, number of penstokes, and also material. And in this video, I will focus on designing one of the key elements, which is a search tower. And we will do calculations of a search tower size, height, and diameter. In previous video that is titled Renewable Energy Hydropower Scheme, How to Design a Search Tower, Part 1, I covered the theoretical part of the search tower design. I have derived a few equations and we will need to use these equations to do design calculations. In this video, we will actually do search tower design calculations using finite difference method. And I will do these calculations in Excel. Let's recall from previous video that to describe fluctuations of the water level in the search tower, we derived second order nonlinear differential equation as shown in equation 7 on this slide. This equation is from video part 1. To solve this equation 7, First of all, let's recall that this equation follows from two other equations. First of all, this equation on the left that is obtained when we apply Newton's second law to the motion of water flow in a horizontal uniform pipe, we got this equation. And another equation on the right is just continuity equation. So we can solve this equation 7 by simply rewriting set of these two equations in a simple finite difference form. And this is shown in equation 8 and 9 respectively. So this equation 8 is a simple finite difference form of the equation above. And this equation 9 is the same equation as this one which is written in a simple finite difference form. So to solve these two equations, 8 and 9, we will need to choose time step delta t, for example, 0.1 of a second, and solve these two equations. And I will show you in this video how we solve this in Excel. So let's start. The key parameters for search tower design calculations would be to calculate the height of the search tower and also the size of the search tower. We will just choose a circular search tower, so we would need to know the diameter of the search tower. In terms of height, when we calculate the fluctuating water level in the search tower, we will obtain the maximum amplitude of the first surge. And when we know the maximum amplitude of the first surge, this is basically determines the height of the surge tower. And our spreadsheet will be dynamic that by simply changing the size of the surge tower, we update all the results automatically and 
we can either increase or reduce the maximum amplitude of the first search. For example, by simply increasing the diameter of the search tower from 44 millimeters to 55 millimeters, I reduce the maximum amplitude of the first search by 20 millimeters. So basically, I reduce the height of the search tower required in the design. We will do calculations here from the start and I will show you how you do all these calculations. Let's get to it. To save time, I already prepared a spreadsheet where I organized my data in groups. First of all, I have all the measured data and data which I'm going to optimize, such as diameter of the search tile. Measured data is my static head, also initial water level in the search tile for steady flow conditions, flow rate for steady flow conditions, diameter of the pipe, and also diameter of the search tower, and also length of the pipe. Then I have basic calculated data, which is my losses associated with friction and miscellaneous losses, which I calculate as static head minus initial water level in the search tower, cross-section area of the pipe, cross-section area of the search tower, and also flow velocity for steady flow conditions. Here I also have my time step delta t. I have decided to choose 0.1 of a second, but later after I finish all the calculations, I can change this to, for example, 0.2 of a second. And also I have some data for plots. I already plotted this data and this would be my static water level and also my initial steady flow conditions uh, water level in the search tower. First, I start calculating this basic data. So my uh, head losses would be static head minus water level for steady conditions in the search tower, which is in millimeters. Now I calculate cross-section area of the pipe. So there would be pipe pi in diameter in power 2 divided by 4. So pi multiplied by diameter and I calculate in meter square, so diameter divided by 1000, and this would be in power 2 and divided by 4. And I also calculate the cross-section area for the search tower. So pi multiply open bracket diameter divided by 1000 in power 2 and divided by 4. So these are my cross-section areas. And now I calculate flow velocity for steady flow conditions. And this is calculated as flow rate Q, which is measured divided by cross-section area of the pipe. So this would be my flow rate, which I uh, measured divided by cross-section area in the pipe. So this is my uh, velocity. So when I start calculating these two equations, my initial starting water level in the search tower is U0, Y0, which is my initial steady flow water level in the search tower, and also U0, which is initial steady flow velocity in a pipe. And now I would be ready to calculate delta Y and delta U. What I decided to do first, as you can see in both these equations, you have some parameters which are constant. For example, here it's the ratio of cross-section areas multiplied by delta t. And here I also have some constant parameters. I decided to calculate them separately, that my equations here for delta y and delta u are not significantly complicated. So I calculate this first, so this would be equal cross-section area of the pipe divided by cross-section area of the search tower and multiply by delta t, which is 0.1. So this is my first constant value. And now here I have minus 9.81 divided by L, which is 3 meters, and again multiply by delta t, which is again here. And I will just choose the same format that I can see that these are constant values. 
I forget to uh, forgot to put minus. So this is minus. And now my k value, which is also would be constant. k is calculated as 2 multiplied by g divided by u0 square and multiplied by head losses. So this would be 2 multiplied by 9.81 divided by u0 square, which is I calculated here, and power 2. And now multiply by head losses, which I also calculated. But don't forget, I need to convert this into meters. So divide by 1000. So this is my k value. Now I'm ready to calculate and my delta y would be all this constant in brackets multiplied by u. And my first u is my u0. So this would be equal this constant value and I fix it, press F4 multiply by delta u, multi multiply by u, enter. So this is my first delta y. Now delta u is calculated as my constant value, what you see here, which I calculated in cell O2, so this, and I fix it, press F4, multiply, open bracket, and here I start with my y, which is for first row, it's my initial water level in the search tower. So y0, I click here. And minus um, static head, which I measured. And this would be also fixed. It's a single value. So I press F4, divide by 1000. Don't forget, I need to convert into meters. And plus my k value, which is again fixed, F4. And now multiply by u and again by absolute value of u. We have absolute value of u and u instead of u squared just because we want to keep sign because velocity could be positive and negative. So I multiply by u and then again multiply by absolute value of u. Close the bracket and now divide it by 2g. So I open the bracket because 2g both uh, are divided by. So open bracket 2 multiplied by 9.81, close bracket, and now close bracket again. And this is my first delta u. So then I calculate my first step, and therefore I calculate the water level in the search tower after 0.1 of a second after I closed the valve. So this would be my previous water level plus delta y, what I calculated. And my u would be previous initial u, which was u0 in this case, plus delta u, what I just calculated. And here, those formulas, I can just copy down. So select control D, and we copy them down. And so now I would be ready to copy down everything. And I do calculations for 20 seconds. And I would be ready to copy down up to the end and see what I will get on my graph. And I... Control D. And these are all my calculations. And let's check how my graph looks like. Graph looks quite nice. We have first surge, maximum amplitude, then oscillations are slowly dying out until it stops at static level. So what I want to do, I want to know my maximum amplitude of the first surge. And this would be just maximum value of all values of the water level in the search tower. So I will just calculate it here, equal, maximum. And I just calculate maximum from this column. I know it goes to uh, up to row 208 and close the bracket. So this is my maximum value because I would like to show this maximum value on the plot as well just as a single point. And now I need to find the matching times time, 
when this maximum occurs. Of course, I can just look in the table and find this. But what if I have too many values? I don't want to look in the table. So what I will use here, I will use here index function. Index, and I will be choosing from this row. And uh, I know it's 208. And now what I need to do, I will find what value I want to have. Therefore, I need to show the correspondence value for which I'm checking and finding this value in column F. Therefore, I will use match function, open bracket, and here in match, I did not type it correctly, no, not correct spelling, match, open the bracket, and now again, I search for maximum value, which would be maximum water level. Again, it goes up to 208, just because I know. And I, I'm looking, I need now to type array, where I'm looking for this maximum value, and this would be exactly the same column from GH to G208. So I just copy and paste. And now I need to show what kind of match I want. I would like to have exact match. If I want to have exact match, I just type zero. If I wanted to have value, which is uh, the second largest value, I would type one, but I would like to have exact match. And now I close the bracket for match and I close the bracket for index and I press enter. So this would be 3.6 seconds and I show this as a single point. So this is my plot and my calculations. And what I will do now, I will just do optimization. For example, what I, if I don't want to have a search tower, which is as high as 722 millimeters or almost um, 0.72 over meter, what if I want to have it a little bit lower? Say, for example, I will increase uh, diameter of the search tower. Instead of 44, I will have 55 millimeters. And my maximum amplitude of the first search is reduced and goes to, instead of 722 millimeters, it goes to 703 millimeters. And you can also do some other optimization. For example, you can increase uh, diameter, for example, of your pipe, say, for example, 25 millimeters, and this goes down even further, and so on. So you can do optimization and find the best combination of diameters of the search tower and the pipe. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you. Goodbye.